Colorado Public Television is part of American Graduate. Let's make it happen. Made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. I know how hard it is to be a man. Now that I'm a father, I'm starting to realize how hard it is to raise a man. May 17th, 2007, 9.30 a.m. My auntie Yvette sprinting up the stairs in shock and despair. I saw emptiness in her eyes, head down, crying, telling us that granny is dead. She told us to go downstairs to see what happened. So we jumped out of bed to see for ourselves. That night before, granny had come back from the hospital traumatized. We hadn't slept because she was screaming all night. When we got downstairs, we found her on the floor next to her bed in the dining room. My everything bagged up in a plastic gray body bag. I strived to see her, but the important looking man in white gloves and walkie talkies pushed me back like I was doing something wrong, telling me I couldn't come close to the bag. I was mad, not understanding why I couldn't see her before they took her away. I watched them take her away outside in front of the house while the rest of my family watched with me. The sun was at its brightest outside. There was no one else out there but my family. No one else knew she had died, not even the neighbors. No more early mornings talking about what her life was like in the 1920s. I wouldn't be able to go to Ernie's to buy her favorite chocolate bungle bars. She wouldn't be there anymore to tell me to keep my head up while bullies picked on me. All these thoughts unfolded in my mind. I remember sitting down with my grandma when I was a kid. She couldn't see anymore, so we talked gospel, life, but what we talked about most was family. She told me I was the only person who ever listened to her. Other people in the family would listen, but I was the only one who was there all the time. Even when she lost her vision, she knew me by heart, by my voice, by how I came in the door. She told me that when she dies, I'd be the one who would talk for the family, get everyone around the table to eat, and remind us why it's important to stick together. In the mornings, I remember her the most. My great granny raised three generations of our family. I wake up every day and realize how hard it is to be a man and to raise a man.